Hi everyone, uh, my name is Bettina and I want to show you my recent uh, project which is an adjustable DC power supply. Uh, it goes from approximately about 7 volts to about 26 or 27, something like that. It didn't quite work out to what I really wanted. I wanted something maybe around 2 to 3 volts up to about that voltage, 25, 28, 29, 30, something like that. However, I'm not complaining. Um, it is a very, very heavy-duty power supply, and that was the intention. I wanted something really, really uh, powerful, something that could put out a lot of current and, and stay stable, and, um, and I got it. And in fact, I'm really proud of myself because a lot of these components put into the actual power supply are, are spare parts, stuff I just had sitting around uh, the bench, and um, I decided to put it all together and... Um, and I got this great uh, adjustable power supply. So anyway, let me uh, show you the power supply. So that's uh, da, 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 that is a backup or, or uh, sorry, a uh, uh, distant shot of the power supply, the front. What I did is uh, this cabinet that you're looking at here it used to be uh, an old piece of test equipment, uh, and what I did is I reused it. I for the front panel, of course, because of the test equipment had all a bunch of different holes and stuff like that for the piece of test equipment, is I just put a, a piece of um, a, a spacer from a 19 inch bay uh, for the panel. So I just kind of, you know, messed around with the uh, quarters and stuff like that and made it all fit together. Anyway, let me show you the front of the uh, front of the um, uh, the power supply. Uh, right there, what you're looking at is, the, is an ammeter. I happen to have a spare ammeter. This one goes from 0 to 15 amps. And by the way, you're going to see, you're going to find out very shortly that this power supply can actually deliver more than 15 amps, so I'm even proud of myself. Uh, and off to the right is our voltmeter. I had that as a spare part in my component bin. And of course we have the uh, uh, the potentiometer that's going to give us our variable output. And there's our output uh, banana jacks. And there's just an on indicator. It's just an old-fashioned lamp. Uh, a whole bunch of them sitting around, so I decided to use it. And there's a fuse holder. By the way, that fuse, fuse holder is going to be changed to a, a bigger one, something that can handle up to 30 amps at least. I'm actually, it's actually getting hot when I uh, put a put a severe load on uh, on the power supply, so it's, it's much too small. Anyway, and there's the power switch. Nothing fancy, uh, that's about it. Now let's take a look inside. So, anyway, there's the heart, or the, um, the engine of the power supply. This is a big old transformer. I just happen to have it. Uh, it's, I think, it's 18 volt center tap, something like that. Uh, but it produces a lot of current. Uh, I'm lucky to have that in my parts bin because that part in itself is very expensive. Anyway, I uh, come in with the AC and I just put it to a, um, a, tie, a tie strip so I can have everything I can located. And uh, these two big black wires here are actually... Um, what are they? They're they're AC. They're the actual AC. It's uh the 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 eighteen volts across it. So it's a uh, nine volts center tap. So it'd be eighteen volts um, across the output of the transformer. Very thick wire. Not that I really really needed it, but I wanted to make sure everything was okay. Anyway, that feeds then uh, a bridge rectifier. And again, spare parts. That's what scrapping is all about. It's good to have spare parts. Uh, and then that bridge rectifier feeds these uh, big capacitors here. I got four of them. I guess I could have only used two, but they are high uh, uh, in terms of capacitance. Uh, gosh, I don't know, 11,000. These ones here are 11,000 microfarads. And the ones on the bottom, I believe, are 18,000 or something like that. Anyway, all four of these capacitors are in parallel. So they'll, they'll definitely do a good job in filtering. And you need uh, high capacitance uh, when you've got these heavy-duty power supplies, especially when you're drawing a lot of current. Anyway, what that does is then it feeds um, it feeds two things. First of all, this stuff here in the back, they're, T, uh, they're uh, TL3 transistors, and they're 2N3055, typical uh, everyday uh, NPN type transfer, uh, transistor, and I've got them all in parallel. Uh, I guess what I should do is probably put a link on this video. I have a web page, and what I'll do is I'll put the schematic on it. Um, but it's a very, very simple design. All they are is pass transistors, and you're just uh, adjusting uh, the current flow through the emitter and collector. Uh, and what feeds the base is actually this little circuit here. Uh, it's just a very tiny circuit. It uses an LM723 uh, adjustable power supply chip. Uh, very uh, handy little chip. It's... Uh, 
it's regulated, it's uh, got current feedback and voltage protection and all the rest of it. Um, it's, it uses a very standard circuit uh, description, and if you look in any of the data books, you will see that circuit uh, for uh, my power supply. And I think in the application notes, it only shows one 2N3055 transistor in it, but I've put four in parallel so I can distribute the power. And of course, this big black thing here is a heat sink. And we have two fans here. I know it's hard to see, but I think you get the idea. Um, and also, uh, off the capacitors here, uh, what I do is I feed uh, the actual uh, supply voltage for the uh, LM723. <clears throat> That's what these little wires here are. And uh, what else do I feed? And I guess that's about it. Anyway, output of the uh, transistors then feed, uh, go into this, uh, uh, the, the four wires here feed into the one wire, which is then soldered together onto a big wire, which then, of course, goes into the meter and then eventually out uh, to the fuse, actually. This is a DC fuse, by the way. This fuse here is a DC fuse. I have an AC fuse in the back here. However, this one's a DC. Goes into the fuse, and now from the fuse, feeds the positive. And, of course, negative is ground, and uh, there is a common ground. So that is about it in terms of construction. Now let's uh, give it a go. So let me turn this thing on. There it is. And actually, right off the bat, you can see that I'm already drawing a lot of current. Uh, let's take a look. Actually, you know what? Let's do a no-load situation. So let me uh, take the load off, and we'll look at the voltage reading. And you can see it's about 7 volts there going all the way up to about... Oh gosh, I lied. Okay, it's going up to 25. I thought it was a little higher. Uh, neat little supply. You can adjust it and all the rest of it. Now let's put a really, really heavy load on it. What you're looking at here is two uh, 1.5 ohm resistors. They're 225 watts each. And I put them in parallel, so that's giving me a 0.75 ohm resistance. And that's what's uh, going on to the power supply here. So I'm right now at about uh, 7 volts and I'm drawing about 10 amps. Let's go a little bit up to 12. So what we've got is 12 volts, and we're reading a steady 15 volts. Or sorry, 15 amps, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, resistors are getting a little hot. Now I'm touching them as we speak. Uh, this, what I've discovered, I've hooked it up to an actual, my multimeter there, and this supply will actually output over 20 amps. That's as high as my uh, meter will go there. Um, at something like about 15 volts or 16, I think it tops out. Uh, but it will draw more current, actually. So uh, it's better than I expected. I'm really, really happy at um, uh, what I've got here. And just to show you, I'm running at 12 volts now at 15 amps. I'm actually going to take off the load. And you'll notice that the 12 volts is still steady. And when I put the, the load back on, you'll see that the voltage doesn't even... It doesn't even wince a bit. It's rock solid. So that's a, that's a sign of a good power supply. So anyway, that is the, the power supply, the adjustable power supply. And uh, thanks for watching, and uh, see you later.